Hey guys, it's Raph here again. So uh, it's been a while since I posted a video uh, and I had a, quite a few people reach out to me and asking uh, what kind of uh, you know, sim racing gear are you using today? Pedals, you know, wheel bays and all that stuff. And I haven't changed many things around, but I realized I never really made a video uh, that's, that describes everything that I have. I made separate videos like the computer itself, the actual review of my cockpit. Um, but when it came out to like everything put together at once, I never really did anything. So I'm just gonna, you know, flip the camera around here, just like a vlog kind of scenario, you know, show everything that I have. So and if you have any questions, uh, you're more than welcome to shoot me in the comments below, join the Discord. You know, there's a lot of other uh, same mind like people on our Discord, so you're more than welcome to pick their brain as well. So um, yeah, let's not waste too much time and let's take a look at it and see uh, what I got. All right, guys, so starting with a wide shot of what everything that it consists of here, just to kind of get an idea on what I've been racing on lately. And I'll go to components, so uh, if you have any questions, you know, you guys uh, can always ask, and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Uh, let's just start here on the right side or here on the computer. So this computer actually made a video on that. So let me uh, hit this button. Nope. That's better. So the computer, I have a, uh, its own video uh, apart. And I'll leave a link above over here so you guys can uh, click on that video and see what that consists of. I haven't really changed anything on that computer. It's been the same for the past, um, yeah, pretty much over a year to be honest. Uh, nothing really changes the same processor, graphics card, uh, storage and all that stuff. So I had just added a little IMSA sticker on there, but that's about it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to the description over here above so you guys can take a look at that video if you have any questions of what the specs of the computer is. So I'm more interested on this guy right here. So zoom back out okay so let's get started here again track racer this is my cockpit it's the tr80 uh this is the first generation uh of cockpit that track racer did on the extruded aluminum series and i've had this for about two years in a few months and i also did a video review of that whole unboxing and when i put it together and all that stuff and i'll go ahead and i'll leave also a little link over here on the top so if you guys want to refer to like my final thoughts on how the rig came out um it's like a couple of parts review there's an unboxing uh sort of building it and then final review so i'll leave a video for that so uh, you guys can see what that cockpit is all about in a sense of review on it uh i do have the move the camera over here on this side it's the rally seat for the track racer uh just a couple things you want to notice about if you're looking to get a, a seat um, they normally have your racing seat and a cockpit, uh, and also your rally seat for the cockpit. I chose the rally seat because, um, this part right here is more open. So when you're trying to get in and out of your rig on this part, very easy. Uh, the racing seat, this wall, I'd say it's pretty up high. So since I'm not really dealing with major G forces on how it's going on here, I'd rather just have an easy exit in and out of that way. Not this route because stuff is on the way. Um, just easier to get in and out of the rig and uh, I found it's also very comfortable as well so track racer uh, I also added a, a lower back pad here because I have lower back issues so that actually helps me uh, but they did not come with it it's like $20 on Amazon just attached to the back over here this is the track racer TR80 now when I first bought this um, this rig was actually at this desk sort of scenario underneath here I had that monitor actually as part of this rig. I'll get to it in a second. So once I moved rooms and I moved the rig down here, I, I said, well, I'm gonna just mount things directly to the rig itself. So I ended up purchasing initially the single monitor display bracket for the track racer and that one on top, the quad on top. So you actually get, let's see if I get back over here. Yep, that's better. So you get that whole part, this piece right over here and moving up the tier on the top up to this part and you can see a better view that's better which is this piece and that's where i had the samsung 49 here previously um i'll get to the monitors here in a second so uh and it worked out perfect i actually love it and uh, it was very worked out very very nicely um again over here on the top with that quad display mount i always want to have that fourth display up here now fourth uh, it's referred like chat and stream stuff and things like that but eventually, as you can see, I switched over this very recent to a, tri a triple screen setup. So I changed that and I moved the 49 over to that editing station. Uh, and then I purchased the brackets to attach to the single monitor mount. Because uh, this is already uh, wide enough for me to reach over here. 
So, and these are, uh, I just found some monitors at a good price at Amazon. They are Scepter 165 hertz, 1440p displays. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to take a look. Um, I believe they were about 230 or so. I got them a little bit better price. So that was a good deal. Uh, I took it. Obviously, you have three of them. So uh, it's been working great ever since I got them. No complaints. Uh, moving on to the actual uh, sim racing parts. So again, so I've had these for all. So this is the Podium uh, Fanatic uh, Podium. Uh, this is the DD1, you would say, because it's the PS4 edition, which came with... Uh, this rim which only comes with this kit and I remember I got this because I was hoping to connect it to the PS4 also back then to like Gran Turismo and things of that sort uh, So I decided to just go ahead and get this kit plus this wheel is extremely nice even though I don't like using much because my hands get it dirty So I have a my little glove down there even though that still gets it kind of dirty uh, Let's move zoom in a little bit here. So that's also the new newest rim that I've had which is the new uh, Fanatic, this is the RCR, I believe that's the name of it, but it's an extremely, probably the best round rim you can get for Fanatic for the price. Uh, it's very sturdy, it's leather, you don't have to worry about you know, getting it dirty in a sense. I mean, you do you easily wipe it off, it's not like the Alcantara you see over here, there on the left hand side, you can see it gets pretty dirty. But um, yeah, I mean, absolutely love that rim. I uh, had it on frame, let's talk about it. Uh, so moving back out here. Uh, on the left hand side, I have a button box. So this is from Apex Racing and it's very nice. It's got, this will be has a stream deck inside. So actually this piece, uh, you pop out, you can install a stream deck inside. You'll got a stream deck, those of you don't know, you can use it as a button box as well if you need to. A couple of buttons on the bottom and some rotary encoders. So you can attach, you know, find this to whatever you need to. It's connected to the computer as well. On the left hand side, you have an Amazon Fire H, uh, it's a Fire 7. I'm not sure it's HD or not. And basically, this is hooked up with Sim Hub, uh, which is a, sort of like a telemetry software, you call it. Uh, you can display all sorts of things here. So, if I actually pull back on this, I can go back. Oops, got the camera off the frame. So, a couple different things that you can choose to display, like ACC dashes, uh, iRacing dashes. I normally leave in here, which displays um, the current racing stands or deltas and gaps, best lab behind the head and things like that. So uh, you can put it whatever you want. This is just my choice. So, oh, camera moving over to the side. Over here to the right hand side, I have a small, this is a hardwired um, Arduino box and I 3D printed this box around for it, which I found it on Thingiverse. My 3D printer. I used to have this as a dash up here, but I found that I didn't really use it as much as I have the in-game dash for the most part. So I sort of converted into a, also sim hub and I can actually change what it displays. Now it shows the race logic, which on this car you can see it, but I can also switch over to maybe a, a basically flag, gear changes and things like that, often the gear changes. But you may see sim hub, you do whatever you want with it. You switch it back, race logic. Uh, over here on the right hand side is another Fire HD, Amazon Fire HD, and in this case I have the Lumirank display shown over here on the right hand side. And again, I can put whatever you want. Uh, and this particular car on the Audi, you don't see the Lumirank on the screen, so this comes in kind of handy. Uh, I kind of just like to know what's ahead on the track with the green flag, yellow flag, and things of that sort. So, okay, so moving down below here, uh, we have the Fanatic Shifter. So that's the one I was able to reconfigure and attach down over here get these gloves out of the way for a second uh kind of like the way that the tr80 came uh didn't come with a particular sturdy uh prof profiles in order to mount this too so i had a couple extra parts i ended up making a sort of a an l here and run it all the way to the to that bracket over here on the side made my own sort of custom work here um there he goes down to the side he was able to get it to work just fine uh, I don't use the shifter as much nowadays, you're mostly doing paddle shifting in there, but it's really fun when you got a car, you know, like maybe it's a play or H pattern. Over here on the right hand side, you'll notice we have a very basic handbrake. Uh, I just found this on eBay. Um, and you rarely use handbrakes, but when you do games like Dirt Rally or anything that requires a, um, you know, your handbrake to be used, uh, yeah. me again, just mount it directly next to the, uh, to the shifter right here, so it works out pretty good. Uh, here we have simple mouse over here, just a wireless mouse for my system. Uh, over here in the back is a Arctis 7 wireless from SteelSeries. That's what I use for headphones. I absolutely hate wearing headphones, so 
it's just sitting there and then when I stream obviously you have to wear it otherwise I do not even put that on it's something I normally try to avoid I do not like having that I prefer using my sound system here on the bottom which is a Logitech uh, with a subwoofer system I forget the model number of these once I I'll put it on the description so you guys know but I believe it's a Z52 of some sort he has a big subwoofer uh, let me move this shot out of the way uh, which is that guy right over there on the other side which works out just fine for me uh, which brings me to the top piece there just really so you guys know I do have a butt kicker gamer 2 uh, let's back out of here there we go that's a letter sorry about the camera vlog sort of scenario but that goes underneath, there it is. You can sort of see it on the sideways. It's underneath the seat. Um, use Sim Hub also to calibrate it and it works pretty good. I like that it gives a nice, um, you know, you actually get a feel of feedback on the entire rig once you're, uh, once you're driving. I've actually got really used to that. And I really notice when it's not turned on. Anyways, let's head back over there. So those are Helsinki Build Sports. I recently got them just a few months ago. I used to have the uh, Fnatic Club Sport V3s and I recently switched over to these and they're individually mounted as you can see there, there is no plate, you don't need a plate on this uh, plate from Track Racer uh, and I absolutely love these pedals, I mean I, when, I came, when I went from the initial uh, CSL lead pedals from Fnatic over to the V3s it was a huge uh, difference and then I moved over to these guys uh, it's uh, absolutely crazy um, the way it is with uh, springs and uh, the way they actually work in you know, full uh, load cell pedals and things of that sort. And I absolutely love these pedals. They work extremely well. Uh, if you're, you're trying to get better into trail braking and things of that sort, this is an absolute killer set of pedals. I have nothing to say bad about these guys. <laughs> absolutely crazy. Uh, just moving over here to that little red button right over here, you can sort of see. So that's basically my kill switch for the podium base. I did not go with the Fnatic version of it, which is quite expensive. And this one over here has a couple of different features that I actually talked about in the video. This uh, the small little video review that I posted. That was my actual my most recent video. Up here, let's just go up to the top here as far as streaming stuff goes in mic. Uh, over here, it's got a uh, Elgato Wave 3 uh, mic, which also works as a... Um, a mixer, audio mixer, which uh, over there, if you have a stream deck, uh, you can actually control, you know, individual audio levels for different games and things of that sort. So you don't, you can cut your audio, like as far as your music goes, but still keep your game audio. You send a different audio to your stream than what you're actually listening in a game. So you can like listen to music yourself, but then upload the video to YouTube or Twitch that you're streaming to and don't get a copyright strike for using music. You can still listen to it, but not get that. So it's, it comes really handy, really, really nice. Um, and over here to the right, just I believe that might be the last piece for this. Uh, this is a uh, Canon, uh, it's an M50 Mark II. Uh, that's what I usually use with a uh, cam link uh, to do my over the top shot here when I am um, put this back this way when I'm doing my streaming. So, and this over here, it doesn't have any lights on top of this, so I put a new um, Logitech Litra, I believe that's what it's called. I keep forgetting the name of this, but it's a nice, just a standard light. It's a lot cheaper than what you normally get from the Elgato or anything like that. So, and it works really well. It just sits right underneath the camera, and that gives me a uh, view to my face once I'm doing my streaming or recording. But, uh, anyways, over here in the back, just a quick glance, I have a few tracks that I 3D printed. Uh, I just decided to kind of fill that wall with that. Over here on the left side, I just have a couple of my Ferrari shoes. I got them on a really good deal when I went to a, an outlet. Uh, I got an IndyCar race seat pad. I got that recently and the other wheels that I use sometimes. I no longer use these two because now I have the RCR there at the bottom. But the McLaren rim is something that I sometimes do use uh, when I want to switch over from the uh, Formula V2 PS4 edition with all that stuff. So uh, yeah, and everything else is just decorations around the room, Corvette flag and things of that sort. Um, it's pretty much all I got for this, guys. Uh, just, I'm gonna turn the camera over to the right if you're still watching. Uh, over here, there's a quick glance again uh, to this system right here, which now is, I use as my flight simulator because I do all kinds of simulations. So if you guys wanna hear a video of what I have set up, uh, it doesn't get, a, it's a little bit crazier than this. I just have the Logitech X52 controllers on the side. And I've used the 49 inch with the top display uh, as well, so I can keep track of things that's going on. But uh, I do mostly not much, uh, uh, fighter jet flying I do a lot of you know just your commercial jets flying and I'm gonna throw a picture so you guys can take a look of, at least of how the system looks like and it's a little bit complicated how that was all set up but if you have any questions and you want to see what that looks like 
Let me know in the comments. I'll probably come up with a video that explains a little bit of how uh, these two and then the other one you saw the picture kind of just incorporate with everything here in the room. But uh, other than that, guys, yep, I'll leave that as it is. If you have any questions, comments, uh, you know, obviously put it on the comments below. Uh, join the Discord. Ask us, you know, we want to ask all the guys questions, me questions about it, if, what I think of certain things. Uh, yeah, feel free to join in. But other than that, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.